Burncut is um, a leading underground mining contractor in Australia. Lots of uh, equipment, lots of ver variable different types of equipment. Burncut and Sandvik have had a long, long term relationship, 30 years or so. Auto mine is a, a natural progression for, for Burncut. It's important to be able to uh, operate the machines remotely, um, to do this safely. Uh, it takes our operator away from harm. So the, the development of auto mine and the implementation of auto mine is, is very important to Burncut. My name's Luke Clements. I work in the technology project uh, division for Burncut. Some of the primary things are automation, battery electric vehicles, collision avoidance. We use uh, in our load and haul fleet uh, the LH621 loaders and the 517 loaders and accompanied with that we use the technology with the auto mine. I feel that we push the system to its limits and use it far above what others are using it for at the moment. The technology wise handles these kind of things quite easily. I guess some of the benefits that we see is the multiple machine operation from you know, single operators and those kind of things. So operator feedback now is the system works as planned. The auto mine side of things does sort of command the operator to look at various aspects. I mean, they can't just focus on the camera view, they have to look at um, other things. So it takes out that element of error from the operators. A bit of setting up obviously for our auto sparkies to um, set up a level four auto mine, but once it's operational, efficiency is great. Obviously, um, it's quite simple. I mean, you can compare it to other systems. I love it, I love it. Yeah. These machines have notoriously always been outperformers of other, other manufacturers in terms of speed, tramming speed, hydraulic power, breakout power, and this one feels so much more stable from the rear aspect because it is quite, it's all full of battery pack, there's a lot more stability there. So I was coming up quite a steep gradient, I'd say like a one, one in six gradient, and I think my slowest speed was 12 kilometres an hour. Yeah, very, very impressed, very impressed. The cycle times, the movement and the speed, the power of the machine is way, way more impressive. It's a massive leap, advancement and technology. Less diesel emissions, fumes and better renewable energy and less costs in the long run that way. Definitely going to have a massive impact. Mixed fleet capability on a mine site between battery and diesel is always going to be complicated. There's a lot of work that needs to be done with the client to ensure that each site is uh, compatible and again we'll have to resource it heavily like we did with automation to ensure that we do get the benefits. Less cost per hour uh, for maintenance, less cost per tonne, um, longer component life. So definitely on the maintenance side we're looking at getting longer life cycles at a cheaper cost per tonne. And componentry wise there should be a reduction, there's less components, uh, less moving parts. I think we understand what each other's expectations are. I, I would say Sandvik's good partner, they've been good for us and the support services, especially I think uh, what's underestimated is the team on site, some of the um, technicians on site. You know, we've got a good relationship at the top, but the technicians and the support that we get for our teams on site is pretty much second to none. I think it's a, a natural progression in um, mining fleet to become electric. Productivity wins hands down. We've seen the roadmap of uh, products that Sandvik are developing. Um, very interested in some of those products in the future. Our relationship with Sandvik has always been a positive one. Um, from our experience, uh, they are approachable, they will listen, uh, they will often come up with the solution that we're looking for. Um, I think if uh, anyone was looking to engage with a business partner, Sandvik would be, would be recommended.